Barrel is now a category four major hurricane towards the east of Barbados and the Windward Islands. This makes it the strongest hurricane on record in the month of June. And furthermore, the strongest hurricane this far east this early in the season. The other two, if you dig back to the 50s and 60s when we had Aubrey and Elma, uh, those both took place in the Gulf of Mexico. So very unusual to see a storm this strong this early in the season this far uh, east. Now that aside, the records aside from this, it's a very dangerous storm system uh, for our friends out here across Barbados, uh, St. Vincent, uh, Grenada as well, where this is expected to pass over as a category four storm with those winds uh, gusting well over 130 miles per hour. That's sustained in the center of circulation. Now this all took place when we just had the recent hurricane hunters fly through. They got that uh, surface measurement flying around the center of this storm system and confirming that those winds estimated 100 or reported 130 miles per hour. Aldry back in 1957 at 127 mile per hour winds in Alma in 1966 at 115. So yeah, it's a, a pretty serious storm system and it underwent a rapid intensification over the past about 12 hours. This is actually going back 24 hours. You see how disorganized it was. Uh, and then just over the course of a few hours during Sunday morning, watch how it started to wrap up, hit this warm water as good outflow loft. That's what's being indicated right here. That shear, not really shear, but I just the outflow channels. You have the inflow channel in here. This is just that engine for this storm system and allowing it to strengthen pretty quickly. Now we do have a little bit of shear interacting with it right in here that could kind of subdue it and keep it from getting up to a cat five status, but we zoom right in. Whew, that is just a absolutely intense and powerful and dangerous uh, storm system out here in the Atlantic. So let's break down where this is headed, moving off here towards the west, just south of Bern uh, uh, Barbados. Really looks like uh, potentially that catastrophic right front cat four eye wall is going to move right over uh, Grenada and just north of Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago here before kicking off towards the uh, Caribbean. That would be early Monday morning with winds 140 miles per hour sustained based on that latest forecast, maintaining cat three. So still major hurricane status passing just south of Jamaica and then south of the Cayman Islands before it starts to interact with some shear and eventually pushing into the Yucatan Peninsula. But there is still some uncertainty in this extended uh, forecast. What we know now though is hurricane warnings now in place from St. Lucie all the way down through the Windward Islands, even tropical storm watches all the way back here uh, towards the north too. So there's plenty of warnings. Anybody out ahead of this, I know it's hard to get off the island, but hopefully everybody's taking proper precautions for once again, the strongest hurricane on record in the month of June. First pre-July major hurricane since Elmo back in 1966 and uh, damaging winds with this storm surge could be upwards of eight to nine, maybe even 10 feet along the east coast of Grenada as that right front quadrant pushes overhead and take a look at that long range guidance. Yeah, pretty concrete where it's going to go there. Just skirting towards the south of uh, Jamaica. This is with uh, several different models, some of the pretty good ones here before kicking off towards Yucatan. Now, if this edge is north, even just a little bit, and this is still five, six days out, so there is still a chance of this changing. It could, now there's lots of ifs and possibilities here, especially when we're talking about very long range forecasts, a trough coming by and churning it north. And there are some models that bring it very long range. I can't stress that enough into Texas over towards Louisiana, anywhere along the Gulf Coast uh, for that matter. So this is not just a deep Caribbean event, albeit that is definitely the main impactor right now. But in the end of that long range with these very warm sea surface temperatures out here, fueling up this storm system, definitely something we want to continue to watch. And by the way, you know, just talking quickly about warmer sea surface temperatures, they've been getting hotter year over year on average. And this year, Across the Atlantic, it is a record breaking warm sea surface temperature. At the start of the season, we expected um, the, uh, the have an above average tropical season, and this is only confirming it that in the month of June, we have the strongest June hurricane on record. We're going to continue to track this at firstcoastnews.com at a Hurricane Central. Continue to keep you posted. I'm meteorologist 
Robert Smith.